My name is Erwin Bros. I'm the product manager of the Savina family ventilators. And today I would like to show you how to assemble and prepare Savina 300. In the first step, you will receive the device as you can, can see it here. The device will be wrapped normally into a stretch foil. Here the stretch foil has been removed already. In the following step, you have to remove screws from the pallet, which can be removed with an attached tool, which you can see here. The front of the pallet acts as a ramp, and if you attach the ramp to the pallet, you can roll down the device over the ramp. In the box, you can find accessories which have, have been delivered with the device. In this box, um, there are flow sensors. In this packages, you can find two expiratory valves. a blue test lung, a park holder for the CO2 sensor, different CO2 cuvettes, and a box with a CO2 sensor inside. The next box contains the hinged arm to attach the hose systems. The device comes with a high pressure hose system for oxygen. This connector you have to attach on the back of the device, which is located here. The device has a turbine inside and because the device has a turbine, you don't need to attach high pressure air. The device comes with two tilt watch indicators. Um, as you can see here, if the tilt watch indicator shows a red color, the device has been tilted over. It, sh it shall be like, like this. If the tilt watch shows a um, silver color, everything is okay. In case the tilt watch shows a red color, please inform your service technician. Now let's have a look to the electrical fuse. The fuse which is seated in the fuse holder has to be placed in here in order to ensure electrical connectivity. The next step, we are attaching now the hinged arm to the device. As a standard, with every device will be delivered two reusable expiratory valves, which is this one. Additional, as an option, you can find also a um, disposable expiratory valve, which is this. To protect the device and the environment, we have a specific expiratory filter. This filter can be attached or connected with an expiratory valve like this. First, please remove the water trap and connect both pieces like this. Now we are attaching the expiratory valve to the device. In the next step, we attach the flow sensor. So the flow sensor is to measure the expiratory flow. Now we are attaching the breathing system. Now we are attaching the CO2 cuvette. The CO2 cuvette is needed if you would like to use CO2 measurement. We are attaching the CO2 cuvette directly to the Y piece. In the next step, we are attaching the filter HME combination towards the patient. In case you are using the CO2 measurement, please connect the CO2 sensor at the back of the device. The CO2 sensor can be placed to its CO2 sensor holder. To start the device, use a main switch on the back of the device. And at the back of the device, we are turning the device on.
the device will alarm standby mode. The standby mode has to be confirmed with a knob alarm reset. The next message which you can see here is to perform a device and a breathing circuit check, which we will do now. So in the first step, please go to the tap device check. Please start the device check by tipping start and confirm with the rotary knob. Every instruction you can read in the blue field and please confirm each step with yes. We are following the instructions and every single step will be confirmed. All bubbles are green now and we are ready for the next step, which is a breathing circuit check. So we are going directly to the breathing circuit check. In order to perform the breathing circuit check, please check those three areas. The first area is to select um, the whole system, which can be standard or coaxial. We have selected the standard coaxial already. Next one is to, th to select for the patient category, um, either an adult patient host system or a pediatric host system. We have selected already the adult host system. In the third step, you have to select the humidification. In our case, we have an HME filter combination, which has been pre-selected already. The breathing circuit check then has to be started by pressing start and every instruction please read from the blue field all right we are starting with the first step and hold with your finger normally in your hospital environment use a sterile glove and press ok All right, the next step, um, the connector has to stay open. All right, we are ready to go. The device is now prepared from a technical perspective, so it's safe and ready to admit the patient. We will prepare now the device for the next patient. Now please go back first to the tap start and stand by and follow the instructions according to your numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. First we have to select the therapy type. So the Savina 300 offers either high flow oxygen therapy, mask ventilation or simple tube ventilation. Under number 2 um, select your patient type either a pediatric or an adult patient. So we are selecting, in our case, an adult patient. The device will now apply standard parameters for ventilation. After you have um, applied standard parameters for ventilation, please check in the menu by using those two knobs for the ventilation par parameters and for the alarms. Please go through this and check it step by step. After all ventilation parameters and alarms has been adjusted, you are ready to start ventilation. Before starting ventilation, connect your patient and start with the ventilation. 